My name is Casey Nelson. I am currently a fifth year senior in biological systems engineering. In elementary school and kind of through uh, middle school, my mom and dad really pushed me to try some real STEM-oriented programs. Eighth grade, our school came here to Iowa State and participated in the first LEGO League. It really inspired me and it really resonated with me that I might really want to pursue a career in engineering. Help me slide this up, it's a little heavy. I was encouraged to interview a person in our community that was doing renewable energy. There was an entrepreneurial man that was making biodiesel at the time from waste cooking oil. I fell in love with what he had in his vision for how he could turn a waste into something good. So I was really inspired. And that was really kind of the birth of the engineering side. Having this scholarship really, really frees not only you financially, but I think it also frees your mind to think of what can I do and what can I pursue? What are my interests? Yeah, we can rinse this out and we can do the other things. Yeah, so let's try can... that. Okay. This is, a, this is a cutout here. ISU Biobus is a multidisciplinary and entrepreneurship oriented organization that really focuses on outreaching to not only the Iowa State community, but also the broader community in general about sustainable practices from a renewable energy standpoint. We first get our members inspired by taking the UDCC cooking oil from the Iowa State Dining Centers, and we take that and we convert it into biodiesel to help run the Syride buses. When you're working in projects together, you bond and you meet people, and it is really a fantastic experience. Because of that, the original founders of Biobus then started our current company, Artie, our entrepreneurship venture. In China, there is a really large problem with the excessive burning of waste biomass. The farmers don't really know how to deal with all the increased biomass waste coming from increased crop yields. Our entrepreneur effort is focused on that area and turning that into a useful product for water treatment and also gas filtration. What kind of person does it take to do this sort of work? Um, I would, somebody who is, um, who's not afraid to really get, really get dirty, um, a wide variety, but, uh, but for one thing has a lot of initiative and has a lot of perseverance um, because there's a lot of days where we're out here where things don't necessarily go right, where, um, we're out here from eight in the morning till nine at night. If I can help get technology to the places where it's needed around the world and to help technology adapt to cultures, to bridge gaps between cultures, to solve problems that are worldwide, that's what I would really like to see from a practical standpoint.